Underground Metro Station. In this video, I would be briefly covering the basic configuration of an underground metro station with special reference to the aspects pertaining to platform, concourse and ancillary concepts. I would also be covering capability of data consulting engineers in the design of metro stations. In underground metro, the tracks are below the ground with entrances and exits leading up to the ground or street level. The bulk of the station is typically positioned under the land reserved for public spaces. Station entrances are the link between the station concourse and the surrounding streets. Entrances must be visible, easily recognizable and provided with closure devices for security and shall be suitably protected against flood water ingress. Concourse houses all the passenger amenities and is the interface between the street and the platform. The space is divided into two distinct zones, the paid and the unpaid areas separated by the automatic fare control gates. Unpaid area shall have adequate space for circulation, public facilities and security screening with a direct access to the automatic ticket gates. The paid area shall have a well-defined access to the platforms. Public facilities, if any, shall be located away from the route to the escalators and stairs. Size of the concourse will vary with the estimated peak passenger flow, number of ticketing booths and arrangement of the facilities. Platform is the place where the passengers would congregate either to embark or disembark and thus would need careful consideration to the sizing. The platform length shall accommodate the length of the train plus allowance for inaccurate stopping. The width adopted shall also cater to the holding capacity of the platform in case of an emergency scenario. Seating arrangement is planned away from the main passenger flows. A minimum of four banks of three seats is recommended. The back of house areas consists of system rooms, staff facilities, operation facilities, ventilation system for tunnel and station, water supply and drainage system. Tunnel ventilation fan room is located at each end of the platform. The rooms are connected through the tunnel ventilation plenum with motorized dampers. Auxiliary substations for stepping down the voltage and for power distribution is usually located at concourse level. Station design shall allow safe evacuation of occupants in an emergency. For egress evacuation measures, the requirements for stations as provided in NFPA 130 and NBC 2016 shall be followed. There shall be sufficient egress capacity to evacuate platform occupant load in four minutes or less. The station shall be designed to permit evacuation from the most remote point in the platform to a point of safety in six minutes or less. The character of a station can be artistically expressed in various forms such as paintings, murals or artwork. The illustrations here show how aesthetically they have been incorporated in few stations. Tata Consulting Engineers with their inherent technical strength and vast engineering knowledge are ideally qualified to provide technical expertise and engineering services in the design of metro stations. The range of services which TCE provide are pre-bid engineering and detail engineering with respect to elevated and underground stations which include conceptual layouts, detailed architectural and structural designs, design of viaducts and track supporting structures, all electrical and mechanical building design services, fire protection, plumbing, drainage services, technical documentation preparation for approval of station designs from relevant authorities, coordination and execution of design phase in line with the specified schedules. TCE is currently associated on a major metro project comprising both elevated stations and underground stations with a car maintenance depot. The metro project has been created on BIM platform from concept to detailed design stage for all disciplines covering architecture, structure and MEP. BIM cloud-based collaboration is envisaged for construction, operation and maintenance stages up to 7D level.